those numbers how much more evidence do you want than that for something so severe but if i could reduce that risk of spreading it to someone that is pregnant Give me the shot. It's like what we said before in our previous episodes. In order for public health to yeah. work, the public needs to participate. Exactly. Yeah, that means I'm taking a shot to prevent maybe someone else from a devastating miscarriage or congenital malformations, blindness in a newborn. Yeah, give me the damn shot. You know what I don't understand? The environment of pro-life people and anti-vaxxers and this whole climate of this particular group of people they have those common interests right yeah and then they want to promote more people getting pregnant having more babies and all this and i'm like do you see that there are discrepancies are there are things yeah. that there are things that would maybe stop someone from, from not getting pregnant or yeah. having a viable pregnancy yeah. or having a baby but it's like do you not see the conflict there? Yeah. No. I don't understand. It just... Because remember, they don't thing. look at it through an actual procreative way. They're looking at it as more of how to sustain our population. Like, how can we? But how can we? Exactly. Because they're looking at it more as like a numbers type of thing. Yeah. If you look at the news, they're always talking about like 22%, this percentage of this and that. And it's like, well, yeah, but can you explain why that happens? And they don't touch on the why. 